life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you But that would be untrue so Nia, why don't you come inside the restaurant? That would be necessary. I've seen a lot of the pictures of the restaurant online and I must commend Fred for building such a massive building for you. You're lucky, just so you know. I know, but thank you. Is everything okay with Williams? Everything is fine with him. You took good care of him and I'm impressed. This shows that you'll be a good mother to him even if I'm absent in his life, right? I will love him like my own son, Tonya. But you don't have to be absent in his life. You can be a part of it as well. You and Fred. Aren't you tired of me always showing up in your life every now and then? Be sincere. I am tired of it, Tonya, but what choice do I have here? What can I even do about it? You can fight with me or fight with Fred to stop letting me show up every single time. You should set boundaries. That's not something I'll do. Doesn't even sound like me, but here's the thing, Tonya. You can choose to stop disturbing us every now and then and focus on you. See, if you want Williams with you, keep him with you and stop pushing him here and there. It's going to affect him. As much as I would love to keep him with me, I think I can't. Cause Paul is it as quiet and tolerating as you. He speaks out and he doesn't want Williams around. He doesn't want your son around. Is that what he said to you? Not exactly that way. See, I don't want us to keep bugging each other's life. I'm not going to bug you anymore. I promise you, I'm Fred. You both can have custody of Williams. Do with him whatever you want. But make sure he knows I'm his mom. What does this mean? It means I'm giving him over to Fred to take responsibility of his son. I'm not going to come back for him. I'll see you in a few years time. But please, make sure he knows that I love him. Babe, I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. What exactly are you sorry about, Joan? Just what? Is it for the fact that you don't trust me or what? Because I remember you said it by yourself, there's no love without trust. I trust you, Abel. I trust you. I didn't come to see if there is any woman here. I just came to check up on you. To see if you are okay. That's the truth. You are lying to me. This isn't the first time you are doing this. At first, I thought you were being romantic, but you are not. You are being obsessed. You can't blame me for being obsessed. <laughs> I'm scared of hurting myself again. I've been hurt every time. That's why I'm this way. I can't help it. Is this what you used to do to Adams? Do something wrong and then blame it on the fact that you've been hurt. Is that it? I'm not lying here. I know you've been hurt. I know you are fat. I know you feel ugly, but none of this is actually the issue, Joam. You yourself, you are the issue. You do the wrong stuff and expect everyone to understand because you have low self-esteem of yourself. But when others wrong you, do you understand with them or blame them to the fault? You're right, Adams. But I'm getting better. See, I'll get better. I promise you, I will. You should get better for yourself, Joan, not for me, but for yourself. If not, you end up alone. I don't want to end up alone. <laughs> Once you are done crying, drop my key and leave my house to never return. Abel, I said I would do better. I will not repeat this again, I promise you. I can't be with you anymore, Joan. And if I'm being sincere, the only reason I'm with you is because I pity you, not because I love you. Where did she keep the ATM card? I know she used to keep it in this bag, but it's no longer here. Where could she possibly keep it now? Just where? Wh what is all this? Why are you searching my bags, Paul? And why are my cards all on the bed? I, I, baby, I... Why are you stammering, Paul? Why are my cards on the bed? I need to pay some money that I owe, and I need your cards to be able to pay back the money. I've tried calling you, but you are not responding to my calls. I didn't get any missed calls on my phone, Paul. And what nonsense are you saying on owing some money? Are you trying to steal from me? Why would I steal from you? I'm not a thief. Are you looking for my white card? The one that has over 50 million in it? Is it what you're looking for? Yes, that's the card I'm looking for. I've checked these cards, but there is no enough money in it. Just few changes. Can you give me the white card to clear my debt, baby? <laughs> Oh my god, Tonya, how could you have been so blinded all along? What are you saying, baby? Paul, you wanted to steal from me and... Baby, I didn't see anything. Who the hell is she? Oh my god, did you bring your lover here? I, I, I'll take my leave now. I didn't know she was back from our outing. Oh my god. <laughs> Who the hell is she, Paul? I'm going to ask you one more time before I call the police to come and arrest you for trying to rob me in my own house. She's just a friend. You brought your lover to my house.
Can you send your boys in? And there's a lady living in the house now. Don't let her leave. Please get her. What did you just do, Tonya? Why would you think I would try to steal from you? Why did you call the estate security man? I'm a fool, Paul. But I promise you this. You won't escape from this. I swear it on my life. And you better know that to run aside is foolishness because the security in this estate is tight. I should have known all along. Oh my God. How could I have been so foolish? How could I? In few hours time, we'll be out of the country. Hello, who's this? Is everything okay? Yes, baby, everything is fine. I can't just wait to leave this country. I need to go and use the restroom. Help! Somebody help! Jacinta, come close to me. I need you to know this. I don't want to know anything, Tony. I need you to be fine. You can't die, please. I've always known I'll die, but I'm glad I made it this far before death came. Maybe stop talking. <laughs> You're stressing yourself out. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, but this is the way out. No member of our family will be involved in gambling. I've paid the price for you all. What nonsense are you saying? <laughs> You're not paying any price. I need you to be strong for me. Take good care of Regina and you don't have to worry. No one is ever going to take her from you. I love you so much. Don't die, Tony. If you love me, stay alive. <laughs> you can continue gambling. I won't complain. You can do anything you want. Make sure you leave this country and don't come back. No. No, 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 Tony, Tony, help me. <laughs> help me, oh my. Oh my God. Baby, I've packed up everything that we would be needing. I think we are good to go. Where's the baby? Where's Will? He's with the nanny in the living room. She's also coming with us, remember? I didn't agree to that. She will stand behind me, Belle. This drip is just for us, me and you. I thought that she was going to leave where we are living. I promised her that already, Fred. There is no way I can back out now. She's a great nanny, but she stays behind. Remember my uncle said we can't trust anyone. I know, but I trust her. Bebel, if you don't want to leave, that's okay with me. But I'm going to take my son and catch his next flight out of here. Because I don't see why we should be arguing on the nanny. You're right. You can leave if you want to. I mustn't come along. That came out the wrong way. And I'm sorry. It's just that I don't want us to have any unnecessary person with us. You can still have another nanny in the UK. But I will pay this current nanny in that sum of money to set herself up. That's way better. But don't talk to me down. I don't like it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just test that Tonya can come here at any time and say she has changed her mind and wants to have Williams. I don't think she will do that. She made it clear to me that she's focusing all of her attention on Paul and not Williams. She also said she won't bug us anymore. Do you really believe she will stay off like that? But I know she might still come back once she starts missing Williams or if she and Paul have an issue. Exactly my point. We won't wait for that to happen before we leave here. Do you think Uncle Tony and Aunt Jacinta have left already? Their flight was an hour ago. They might have left, but we will all meet in the UK. I'm ready to leave, baby. Let's get going so we can get there on time. Okay, my love. And thank you for being here for me, Mabel. A woman like you is rare. You understand me in such a way that no one else have ever done. You can continue this love talks in the vehicle. Let's go, Fred. The transactions from my bank were done by me, Paul. You did all of that. You sent all the money from my bank to yours. You can't possibly do this to me, Tonya. I didn't steal from you. You need to call Abel. He should be here, ready to represent you in court. Because you're going to be in prison for a long time. I made a mistake, Tonya. I didn't know what came over me. I don't know why I did it. Our love? Are you still opening your mouth to mention love to me? You never loved me, Paul. Not for once, despite all I did for you. I gave you myself. I gave you all. You can't do that to me. Please, forgive me. Please, baby. For the sake of our love. Bella already told me the whole truth on how you were having an affair with her. You even proposed to her. How could you propose to her? But you didn't propose to me. I love you, Tonya. You're the only woman I've ever loved. You were planning on taking my money from me and running away with her, living large and enjoying yourself spending my own money. I was just fooling her. I didn't love her, I swear it. Whatever is controlling you, I hope it keeps controlling you. I regret ever meeting you. I wasn't thinking straight. Something is controlling me, Tonya. That's why I'm acting this way. You're not sorry, Paul. I will see you in court. And I promise you that I'll ask my uncle to bring in the toughest judge for your verdict. Tonya, 
Please let's talk things out. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should have listened to me, Tony. You shouldn't have stopped playing the game. <laughs> now you're no more. <laughs> Rita, is everything okay? Why are you crying? Tony's dead! <laughs> He's gone, Juan. They killed him. They killed him. Oh my god! What do you mean he's dead? They just called me now and told me that the game was over. And they sent me money, a large sum of money. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Who sent you money? I can't even tell you about it. I don't know if I meant to share the information. But all I know is I have 150 million. You've got to be kidding me, right? I'm not joking. I won the game since Tony backed off from playing. <laughs> you should have played one and let us get to the end. What kind of game is this that you are both making money from playing? What's the game all about? I'm interested in making money. It's a dangerous game, Joanne. I am never playing again. My Tony. Tony! Are they also the ones that sent you the brand new car that is outside the house? What brand new car are you talking about? There is a car out there with your name written boldly on the plate numbers. Tony, you sent the car to me. What the hell happened? What, Bella? Tony happened. I and Paul were in the house trying to get some money from our cards. What? You guys were stealing from her? Whose idea was this? It was my idea. Paul told me she had stopped giving him money like she used to. That she was always saying she doesn't have money but spends lavishly when they go out. So I told him to get her cards. I do transfer the money to his account. Bella, you're a criminal and I hope you know you and Paul are going to prison. It's on me. He knows better than to do that because I was helping him out. Turns out she doesn't have much money, most of her cars. We didn't get up to two million. This is totally wrong. You know what? Pack your bags and get ready to leave. Where am I going to leave to, Dave's? Just where? You should go far away from here if you don't want to go to prison. That's my advice to you. I don't want to go away. See, Paul needs me now more than ever. Are you out of your mind, Bella? Do you think Paul is going to get out of prison? Nobody is going to help us fight the case and win that for certain. You are out of your mind. See, better go in there and pack your bags. You will take the next flight to PH. You are not staying in Lagos anymore. You had better get yourself together and pack up. I didn't want you to get involved with Paul in the first place, but you never listened. Now look at the mess you have gotten yourself. Days, I can't sleep. I'm pregnant for Paul. What did you just say? You've got to be kidding me, right? I am not. I have been noticing some symptoms lately and it's of pregnancy. Go in there, pack your bags and get ready to leave for Port Harcourt right this moment. The baby. I am pregnant, brother. What am I going to do about the baby? You are going to remove that baby when you get back to PH. You can't have a criminal baby. Do you have any idea how hard it is to take care of a baby? Do you? Oh, Tonya, how could you have been so foolish? All these years I've been with Paul thinking he loves me. But well, he's no different from all the other men who can't accept the success of their women. He ruined my life right from the start. I had friends who loved me so much, but I went ahead to hurt him because I thought I have Paul as my man. Because I thought he loved me. My son, Williams, he made me take Williams back to Fred. He made me reject my own son because Williams reminded him of Fred. How, how could I have listened to him all this way, blinded by his love? What have I done, Tonya? Just what? I was willing to give him everything I have, yet he couldn't stand by my side and love me. I don't need him in my life. I don't need any man in my life. I already have a son. All I need is Williams. I'm going to go and get him back from Fred and take him far away from everyone. I'll give him the best kind of life and spoil him with love. I shouldn't have even taken him back to Fred. But why isn't Fred picking up his calls? What's wrong with him? No response from him still. I'll go over to his place but I'll make sure Paul pays for what he did. If you get this letter, it means I'm dead. Oh my god, Uncle Tony, no. No, no, how could he have died? I can't believe you guys are leaving this time around without the thought of returning. Your traveling tickets are ready once you and Vanessa are ready to leave. I wish you guys would come with us, Adam. Why the delay? I told Fred I need to marry her properly but before leaving the country. Her parents have not chosen the wedding date. That's what's causing the delay here. You will forgive me because I won't be in attendance of the wedding.
It's a message. It will probably be from Tonya. Read the message. I want to hear what she has to say this time around. It's a voice message. You've always been like a son to me. The son I and Jacinta never had. Well, death happens to us all. And you don't have to worry about anything or mourn me. Because I died for a cause that is bigger than us all. I died for the game, just like your parents. But unlike them, I died making sure that no one in our family is ever going to be forced to play the game anymore. I wish you all the best wishes. Don't forget Tonya. She's your family. Love, Uncle Tony. Oh my god, he's dead. I can't believe this. Uncle Tony is no more. I'm so sorry, Fred, about this. I know you loved him and adored him with your whole heart. Is he really dear or this is just a prank? Didn't you say he was leaving the airport today? Something is not right here. His number is switched off. Oh my god. They killed him, Mabel. The game out killed him because he wanted out of the game. I'm so sorry, Fred. I'm sorry about Uncle Tony. He was a really nice man who loved us all and tried to give us the best kind of family. Why couldn't they just let him go? Why? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I can take this trip anymore. Let's go back home, Mabel. You are both not going home. You heard what your uncle said. The gamers did this to him. You and Mabel need to leave this country today. I am sure Tonya must have heard about this too. So just leave now. Our flight is being announced, baby. Let's go and board our plane. I'm sure this is what Uncle Tony must have wanted us to do. It was a good month to the very end, Joan. I'm sorry about what happened, Rita. I'm really sorry. I also lost someone today. You lost someone? Oh my god, Joan, I'm so sorry. I was so carried away by what's happened to me that I forgot I noticed your eyes were red when you came in. It's okay, Rita. I and Abel are no longer together, Rita. He never loved me. What? You guys aren't together? I don't understand what you're saying. How is that possible? You left to his place this morning. When I got there, he was asleep, so I let myself in with the extra key. And he wasn't having it at all. He was really pissed at me for having a key to his apartment. Why? Is he not the one that gave you the key by himself? So why is he pissed at you? He's not the one that gave me the key. I made the key by myself. What? You made the key by yourself? What are you saying, Juan? You did what? I know I shouldn't have done that, but I felt it was my right to have an extra key because I wanted to know if he was going to cheat on me. So I... <laughs> I made myself another key. He called me names. He told me I was insecure and I ha I'm the problem. I'm the cause of all my broken relationships. <laughs> I apologize, but he wouldn't have it. It's done with me. Oh my god, Joan. I'm so sorry about this. I'm really sorry. I don't want to hear your sorries, Rita. I want the truth. Are you with me because you pity me? No, Joan. I'm not with you out of pity. I love you. You're my best friend. You show that you make irrational decisions most of the times. You know the fact that your plus size gets into your head and makes you act like no one can ever love you because of your body size and low self-esteem. But no one loves me. No one has truly loved me. Should I mention names? Adams loved you, Joan. That was a man that was ready to give you his all. Do you think he's going to forgive me if I call him? I need to see him and apologize. I know he's going to welcome me back into his hands. He would forgive you definitely. Do you know how heartbroken he was after you left him? I thought he cheated on me. You can't blame me here. He never trusted him because of your self-issues, your insecurities. But you have to work on yourself. If you want to eventually settle down with a man else, you will lose those who love you. Because you always doubt and question their love for you. I know. I'll call Adams now. And tell him what. I think you should just let him be for now. He's dating someone else. And I think they're getting married soon. What? You're kidding me, right? I'm not. She's a plus size woman, Joanne. She's actually the same size like you. He's marrying a woman who is fat, and should I say ugly, since that's how you feel about yourself. That is your picture. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? I, I didn't know he loved me for me, I... I... Before anyone can love you, you have to love yourself and accept yourself. But you've never truly loved yourself. All you see when you look at yourself are your imperfections and flaws. You have to love yourself and accept yourself before you can let others love you, Joanne. Where are they? Where could they have gone to? What's this? Another letter again? You've all got to be kidding me. No, 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 my son, my son, he can't travel with my son. No!
Have you heard anything from Aunt Jacinta yet? No, I haven't, but she's fine from all of my instincts. She's doing okay in London. How do you know she's in London? I thought you said you've not heard from her. I have not heard from her, but she always wanted to live in London. And now, with Uncle Tony's death, I think that's where she will be with the baby. It must be really hard for her. I wish she would send us a message. She would when she is ready. Tonya has been sending me lots of messages online. Can you imagine that? She wants me to bring Williams back to her. She must still be dreaming. She should continue her life with Paul. <laughs> He never really loved her from the start. It was a gold digger. She knew this, Mabel, but she never listened to anyone. Says her right. We can't keep Williams away from her forever. I have no plans of doing that. But let's say for the next 10 years, she won't see him. Maybe by the time we come visiting Nigeria, she would have learned her lesson. Fred! I have a voice note. Would you like to join in, in a new game? You make close to 1 billion. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in any games. Why would they stop reaching out to me? I might have to change this SIM card. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Fred. Oh my god, Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony. I know you're both surprised to see me. I didn't die. <laughs> Rose helped me get out of the game, and the only way to do that was to fake my death. Oh my god, Uncle, I thought I had lost you. I also thought I had lost him, but he came to meet me in London and explained everything to me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. I'm fine. We are all fine and we never have to worry about the games anymore. We are totally free. Tonya, come outside of your hiding place. Tonya is here. You didn't expect that I'll leave my niece all alone depressed in Nigeria. Hello everyone. I'm sorry Fred. I'm sorry about everything. He has forgiven you. He can't be mad at my only niece. Now let's get a luxurious restaurant to sit down, eat and talk as a family. Living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you But that would be untrue I know I'm being kinda mean But I learned all that from 